Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank y'all so much for coming back. I do appreciate it. So today I'm gonna to be doing a portfolio update. You will not see my face today. I have about 10, 11 minutes to make this video, then I have to leave, I have to do something really important. So I wanna make sure that I can just film this and get this uploaded. So um, I'm going to also share a little net worth update later in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. So I have a spreadsheet here. I'm a big spreadsheet fan. I think this is a better method for me versus um, any other type of tracking method because when you're investing, it's very important to see what your money is doing. Let me zoom in so we can get like a closer view. It's very important to see what your money is doing, how your money is doing, any returns, are you up, are you down, diversification, sectors, dividends received, what's your average price, things like that. Um, did you sell any positions? Did you add any positions? These are all very important things that I think, you know, we need to look at. Again, I'm not a financial advisor or a fiduciary, but I'm showing you guys what works for my husband and I. So if you look up here at the top, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in like 175% because I know many people are watching this on their phone. So you can see that um, the total portfolio value as of now, so you're getting a little shock. Um, we're meeting a new milestone. Again, it's tax refund time. I hope you guys put your tax refund to work like we did. So we are now at over $200,000. So with our own contributions, you know, we get paid, I get paid for my business, day job, side hustle, Amazon, I get paid from sponsors, you know, like things like that. We put that money to work in the market. So we're over $200,000 when it comes to our brokerage accounts, which is so amazing. Now this is just um, Robinhood. I have a brokerage account over at Fidelity, M1 Finance, and interactive broker so that's pretty awesome over 200k um this year to date dividends this is from last year i have to update this you can see this is embedded from another spreadsheet i will fix that off camera same with this one as well um but i want to change this right here again no editing this is what i usually do at the end of the month i try to update this at the end of the month um for this year we would like to get twenty five thousand, but that's among all of the accounts like the hsa the 401k the roths um because i like to keep track of that here so I'll update this offline because this is embedded from another sp uh, spreadsheet. Um, but this is for this year and all of the accounts. So I'm hoping that we can do it. Like I'm really, I'm hoping that we can do it. And this is embedded over here. So that's why that's looking like that. But I'll fix that off camera. Our goal for 2024. So if you watched our 2024 financial goals video, our goal was to get $175,000 in the taxable accounts. Well, with contributions, tax refund a small bonus and just the market. I mean, the, I mean, have you guys been looking at the market? It has been doing outstanding. Do I think it's overvalued? Absolutely. I, 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 I do think it is. However, I don't time it. I continue to just dollar cost average. I don't know what it's going to do, but long term, we believe in our positions and we will continue to buy and hold. So we smashed this goal quickly. Like the $175,000 goal was smashed like within like a month and a half, especially once we, you know, the tax refund and all of that, it was smashed easily. So our new goal for 2024, you can see it right here, have it highlighted is $225,000. So you can see right here, the goal remaining. So when you do our portfolio value minus um, what we have remaining is about $22,000. So I think with our contributions and the market, you know, we should probably hit the $225,000 this year. Again, I was just so shocked at how fast. Again, extra money, but the market has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting. It, I mean, you can call it what it is. You can call it a bull run. You can call it a bubble. I don't know what you call it, but I want to be, I'm glad we we're on the right side of it. And then you can see like our 2025 goal is 300,000 to get these brokerage accounts because this is our bridge accounts for early retirement. And I move this over a little bit so you can see. And then we have our um, 2027 goal, you know, which is to get to half a million dollars. But again, you can't get to half a million if you don't hit 200,000. You, you just take it step by step. You take any extra money that you um, have coming in and you try to do things with it that's going to move your finances in the right direction. A lot of people don't do that. And when you don't do that, you don't see your money work for you. And so this is just seeing all of our positions that pay a dividend um, here. Now, not, not every position we have in our taxable accounts pay a dividend, right? So Amazon does not pay a dividend. So I don't think that's even listed here in Interactive Brokers. Oh, it is here. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> um, it does not pay a dividend in case you guys did not know. So there, I know I'll get a question. Well, do 
you know, every stock pay a dividend? No, this is why it's so important to do your research. One of my favorite websites is stockanalysis.com. Let me bring that up real quick. So we are here at stockanalysis.com. They do have a paid version you can use, but I use the free version. Um, you can get the information you need from the free version. Um, but again, this is one of my favorite websites to do research. Again, when you are structuring and building your portfolios, you need to believe in what you have. Again, everybody's an expert in a bull market, right? Everything is going up, so everybody's feeling confident. But those of us who were still investing when the market was red in 2022, the first half of 2023, I mean, you guys are watching Watching the videos, you know, there was no panicking going on. This is, was rem this was remembering the strategy here. This is remembering long term. We don't buy high and sell low. That's not how you invest. You buy low and you sell high. And so you can see Amazon does not pay a dividend. So that's why I like this website because it'll tell you, well, this stock pays a dividend. This stock does not. This fund pays a dividend. This fund does not. If I come to VTI, which is my favorite, like just overall fun, not even so much a dividend, but just overall, because it's just diversified beyond diversified, you can see that it does pay a dividend. You can see the frequency. So it does pay out this month. The X dividend date is this month. Don't quote me on this, but I think it is like the 15th or the 17th. Don't quote me on it, but it's, it's, it's coming up soon. So you want to make sure that if you are trying to build your dividends, again, your, your spreadsheets and everything, you need to understand when the X dividend dates are. But again, I wanted to bring up this website because I know I'll get questions about, well, how do you know if it pays a dividend or not? It'll show you. And you can see right here, I mean, Realty Income has, not Realty Income, <laughs> VTI has been doing amazing going out to the past like month. If you've been holding VTI for the past year, you are up at least 20%. If you sold it, then of course you're not up because you sold when it was, you know, bottoming out. But if you bought at the lows and you held, like with VOO right here too, you know, you are up over 20% at least. So it's so important to buy and hold long term because if you sell low, you're not going to see a return. That's not how you invest. So again, guys, I wanted to bring up this website, but again, hitting over $200,000 is kind of crazy. <laughs> I was so shocked because I just put up a post in my Instagram um, of like we were at 185, 188 or something like that. So with a tax refund and again, guys, you have to make sure that, you know, any extra money you get put it in the market. And no, 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 we did not give the government any extra money. We have three houses, three kids, two side businesses. We have a lot of deductions, credits, whatever you want to call it, write offs. And we have a fantastic CPA. So yeah, <laughs> we do things by the book, but we do take advantage of any opportunities legally that the government gives us. I want to bring up our portfolio. So our overall portfolio. So I want to show you guys this. So we do have rental properties and the portfolio update is different from, let's say, a net worth because the portfolio is more liquid. We could sell the rental properties if we needed to. Um, could we access the 401k if we needed to with a hardship? Yeah. Same with the investment accounts. You know, yeah, we could do that. Cash. Yeah. So the portfolio is something that we really track a lot and that's over 1.3 million. Now, if you come over to the um, oh my goodness, I'm getting a brain freeze. The net worth update, you can see we're at 1.6. We're almost at 1.7 million, which is kind of crazy. So imagine the money that we dumped into the market from the tax refund and the small bonus. Imagine if the market continued to go up, how much this portfolio and net worth is going to go up with it. So again, I don't try to time it. I just buy and hold with the net worth. We include everything that was in the portfolio update over here. We include it with the net worth. I should probably move this out so y'all can see this a little better. We include everything that's in the portfolio update over here. Over here, we just add our main home equity, two cars, and our kids' money. So when you add that, it's over 1.6, almost 1.7. And then coming down here to one of my favorite little charts that I created, I'm tracking the portfolio and a net worth through this year. So you see it right here, current values. Then um, this is all fire related. So if we take our portfolio, which is right here, and you divide it by 25 years, again, this is just fire based, about $52,000 a year, this portfolio can give us an income, okay? Um, divided by 30 years, about 43,000. Divided by 35 years, 37,000. Divided by 40 years, 32,000. That's why I'm tracking a portfolio because these are rental properties. This is income still. It's not just dividends. It's not just the stock market. It's crypto. We have a little bit of crypto. Look at what Bitcoin has been doing. We have, you know, gold and silver. We have cash. So this all works. This is why I'm tracking this here. And then if you come over here, this is based off of like fire, like 
like with the net worth. So we already hit Barista Fire. We have, have hit Barista Fire and that was at 1.5 million. We are over that by 111%. So the next one we're working on is Traditional Fire, okay? And that's 3 million. That's a $3 million net worth. And we're at about 55% of the way there. There, So, you know, over that halfway hump, we're just making our progress our way there. And then the $5 million mark, that's Fat Fire. That is 33% of the way there. And then finally over here, we have 2024 goals, okay? Um, so the portfolio, the goal is 1.5 million and we are at right here, 1.3. So almost there, almost there, about 87% of the way there. And our net worth goal is 2 million. We're at 1.6. So we're about 65% of the way there. So again, it's so important to track your progress. I know it's tedious sometimes. I know you're like, Ugh, I don't want to do this, but it's so important to do it because if you don't track your progress, let me tell you, it, it ain't going to work. It's, 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 it's not going to work. Again, I have graphs down here that shows me like what this looks like in a graph formation. Um, like how much do we have here? Like you see, we have Charles, the, the SCHD, which is the Schwab US Dividend ETF. That's about 16.7% of our taxable accounts, like a you know, the makeup of the portfolio, um, which is great. We want to have our portfolio mostly made up of funds. You can see Jeppy up here. Um, you can see QILD over here. And then if you come over here to like breakdowns in terms of sectors, you can see it's a little wonky. It's not letting me move it over right, guys. But you can see that says cash, energy, healthcare, consumer staples, financials, and real estate. So I like that most of this is in ETFs. Again, these are our brokerage accounts. These are not, this is not 401k. This is not Roths. This is not HSA. This is, this is our bridge account. This is for early retirement. So ideally, if we can get the ETFs to about 40%, That'd be like the ideal goal, okay? So I wanted just to show you guys how we were doing. Leave me a comment down below. How are your portfolio doing for the, how are your portfolio doing for, let's say the quarter, right? We're almost at the end of Q1, which is the end of this month, March. Let me know how you guys are doing. If you need any private help, you're like, Shalice, I need to talk to you in a private space. Check out my website. If you need any products, I do make a lot of things, trackers and all of that. I have physical books. All of that information is always down below in the description box. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Beware of fake pages, scammers, WhatsApp, and all of the craziness. I always have my information down below just to verify. Again, thank you guys so much. And until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.